upgrading Cloud BCI Java version from 17 to 21. With the release of Cloud BCI 2.479.3.1, you now have the ability to run either Java 17 or Java 21. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade from Java 17 to Java 21. Before we get started, let's take a look at the documentation for migrating to Java 21. The link to this documentation is down in the description. So what we can see here is that since the version 2.479.3.1, we can run either Java 17 or Java 21. Now, as a best practice, you want to make sure that all of your pieces for Cloud BCI, your operation center, your client controller, and your agents are all running the same version of Java 21. Now, if you're running Cloud BCI for modern cloud platforms, you don't have to do anything. The images that you use to run Cloud BCI for modern cloud platforms already have Java 21 inside of the images. So everything for this video is specifically for Cloud BCI for traditional platforms. So let's take a look at the supported configurations. We can either use JDK 17 or JRE 17 or 21. Also taking a look for versions 2.479.3.1 or later, 21 and 17. 21 for the controllers and agents only if the operation center is also running Java 21. So think about this for just a second. I have the operation center, I have my controller, and then I have my agents. If I was to upgrade my controller to 21 before I upgraded my operation center from 17, then I need to make sure that I do the operation center first, then do the controller, and then finally do the agents. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. So if we go ahead and scroll down, take a look at this. This reinforces that last point. An operation center that runs Java 17 with controllers that run Java 21 is not supported. Also, CloudBees recommends that you upgrade all of your agents to 21 once you've upgraded your controller to 21. As noted earlier, if you're using RPMs, DEBs, or just plain wars, you would go ahead and upgrade those to Java 21. If you're using the Windows MSI installer, the embedded JVM is automatically upgraded to Java 21. Also, any of the container images start using Java 21, starting with 2.479.3.1. Now, if you're building your own custom images, we recommend to go ahead and upgrade to 21 prior to building those new images. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the next section, upgrading the JVM used to run Cloud BCI. So here's the steps. Now, one of the very first steps that we should always say before you're doing an upgrade is to make sure that you've done backups of your instance, your machine, before doing the upgrades. That way, in case there's a problem, you can quickly revert back to the previous running version. So the Operation Center instances must be updated to use Java 21 before upgrading the controllers and the agents. You could have issues if you don't do that. As with any upgrade, as I was just mentioning, always back up your Jenkins home directory and test the upgrade before doing anything else. So if we're going to be upgrading Cloud BCI as well as the JVM, you're going to follow these steps. Now, my recommendation would be, let's go ahead and get upgraded to the version 2.479.3.1, just running Java 17. Make sure all of that is running fine. Once that is done, then go ahead and upgrade to Java 21. In other words, what I am recommending is to not upgrade both the JVM and the version of Cloud BCI at the exact same time. It's okay if you do, but just to mitigate any risk, doing first the version up to 479.3.1, and then once you've verified all of that has been running fine, then come back through and upgrade your JDK from 17 to 21. So enough talking, let's go ahead and do the upgrade. Now I have a full version running here, and this is my example that I was talking about. I am currently running Java 17, and I've also already upgraded to 2.479.3.1. Our pass right now will be upgrading from 17 to 21. Now, how do I know that I'm actually running Java 17? A couple of different ways we can do it, but I'm going to do it within the Operation Center itself. I'm going to do Manage Jenkins. I'm going to go down to System Information, and then under Java Runtime Version, we can see that I'm running 17.0.13. So let's go ahead and go upgrade Java on our Operation Center. Now, I already have a shell opened up to my Operation Center. Let's go ahead and take a look at Java that we're currently running, Java version. This aligns to what we just saw within the Operation Center. First thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and stop my Operation Center. So I'm going to say sudo systemctl stop cloudbees core oc. 
We'll go ahead and verify that that has shut down. So we'll check the status and we can see that it is currently inactive. We'll quit out of this and let's go ahead and upgrade our version of Java. Now, in my case, I'm using the Timurin distribution of JDK and that's the version that I'm going to be using on my operation center, my client controller and on my agent. So let's go ahead and install Timurin JDK 21. Okay, now that that's installed, let's go ahead and check our version of Java. So we'll say Java dash version, but we'll notice here that it's still saying Java 17. In my case, because I'm running on Alma Linux 8, I need to go ahead and update my alternatives for Java. Now in my case, I'm saying sudo update alternatives, config Java. We can see that the 17 is currently selected. I'm gonna go ahead and select two to select 21. So now we'll go ahead and type Java dash version. And now you can see that we're running Java 21, and specifically 21.0.5. Let's go ahead and restart our operation center. And let's go ahead and check our status. We can see that we're active and running. Now it may take a moment for it to come up fully. So let's go ahead and go back over into our browser. We'll click on dashboard. We can see that the operation center is currently starting. Let's go ahead and log back in. And just like before, let's go ahead and go to Manage Jenkins. We'll scroll down to System Information and again take a look at our Java runtime version. And now we'll see that we're running 21.0.5. Now going back to the documentation, remember that the Operation Center must be upgraded first prior to updating any controllers that are attached to that Operation Center. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and go upgrade our controller. Let's go ahead and click over into our controller. We'll go ahead and verify that the version of Java that's running our controller is also 17. Again, we'll go to the same place, Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to System Information. And again, taking a look at Java runtime version, we're still running 17, which is what we expect for our controller. So now let's go ahead and go over into the shell for our controller. We'll stop the controller process, which in this case is Clobby's Core CM. Just like we did for our Operations Center, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to Timurin 21 JDK. Now that that's installed, let's check our version of Java. Just like what we saw with our operation center, we need to do our update alternatives. We'll change it to two. Check our version of Java again. Now we have 2105 as our default. And let's go ahead and start our controller. Now, if we go ahead and go back up into CC1, we'll see that the controller is getting ready to work. Now that the controller is back up, we'll click on Manage Jenkins. We'll scroll down to our system information. And now take a look at our Java runtime version and we can now see that this is version 21.0.5. So at this point, we've upgraded our operation center, we've upgraded our controller, now we need to upgrade our version of Java on our agent. Now let's go back over to the documentation and take a look at something specifically about the agent. If we go ahead and scroll down to our JVM versions on the agents, all agents must run a Java version at least as new as the current minimum version required by the controllers. So the minimum version on our controller right now is version 21. Now we can also validate each agent's version using the version node monitor plugin. Now I already have that installed on my controller. Let's go take a look at that. If we go ahead and go back up to our controller, if we take a look at our agent, our agent is currently offline. The reason why is it's offline because the JVM version of the agent is incompatible with the controller one. If we take a look at our agent listing, we'll go under build executor status. What we're going to see here is we can see that our JVM version on our built-in node that's our controller is set to 21.0.5. Now this is because of the version node monitor plugin. It's showing us our JVM version and our remoting version. Now because of how we currently have our version node monitor set up, it's not allowing this agent to connect. We can, can configure that. And there is another video about how to configure the nodes. But in my case, we wanted to say, an agent must run a JVM whose feature release counter 11 to 17 and now 21 is greater than or equal to that of the controller. This is the strongly recommended minimum. You can also change it to be par paranoid or even more paranoid. But at this point, the low end part of this is that we must be running the same version on our agents as we are on our controller. Now let's say for a moment, you don't want to install the version nodes monitor plugin. That's completely okay. How would you check to see what's going on? Because at this point, we could see that the agent currently is not connected. If the version node monitor plugin is not installed, it's not gonna do the disconnect like what we see now. 
But if you wanted to check the version on the agent, you would click into agent and then go to system information for the agent. Now, remember for the controller and the operation center, we went into manage Jenkins and then system information. But for agents, you need to go to the agent and then the system information for that agent. So if we take a look at system information here, what we can see for Java runtime version is that we're still at 17.0.13, which is what we saw over in the listing of our agents. So let's go ahead and go into the console for our agent. Now, there's no processes to restart here because we're using an SSH agent from the controller down to the agent. Then that means the connection is going from the controller to the agent. No processes that we need to restart. Since it's also not connected to the controller because of the monitor that we have set up, all we need to do is upgrade our version of Java. So let's go ahead and upgrade to Timurin 21 JDK. Let's check our version of Java. And again, just like what we saw with both the operation center and the controller, we're still running 17. So we need to go ahead and run update alternatives. We'll select 21 and let's run Java version again. And now we can see that we have Java 21 installed. So now in theory, we would think that our agent is going to automatically show up and everything's going to be okay. But let's go take a look at that. Because if we do take a look at our listing of our agents, we can still see that it's marked offline. Why is that? Remember that we are using an SSH connection from the controller down to the agent. Well, at this point, because we made that connection initially over Java 17, and we haven't actually restarted the agent process from the controller down to the agent, that's why it's still showing offline, even though we've already upgraded our agent to Java 21. So what we need to do is go ahead and go back into our agent. We're going to disconnect. We'll say yes. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring the node back online. Now we can ignore this warning just because we haven't tried it yet. So that as far as the controller is concerned, there's still a mismatch. But once we make this connection back to our agent, then that message will also go away. Now, if we go ahead and click into the log, we'll see that we connected up and that we are established. If we go ahead and click on nodes, what we're going to see, if we go ahead and scroll all the way over, we're going to see also that our JVM version for both our controller and our agent are both at 21.0.5. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.